In this video I'd like to show you a couple of examples of cosets of a subgroup of a group. The first example is a finite one and make the observation that the set 0, 3 is a subgroup of the integers mod 6. Now the definition of a coset of any subgroup, and you do have to start with a subgroup, the definition is a coset and specifically a left coset of a subgroup is the set of all elements you get by taking an element of the group and adding it to every element in the subgroup. So for example if we take 4, which is an element in C6, 4 plus 0, mod 6 is 4, and 4 plus 3, mod 6 is 1. So the left coset, 4 plus the subgroup, and let's call the subgroup K, just to give it a name, so 4 plus k is the set containing 4 and 1. Now there's a coset that you generate from every group element. Uh, notice that if we looked at 1 plus k, you'd add 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 0 and 1, or 1 to 0 actually, and you get 1 and 1 to 3 and you get 4. You get the same set as we had with 4 plus k. So in fact, even though the order of the numbers appears differently and we do the computation, 1 plus k and 4 plus k are the same set. So cosets can be represented and generated from different elements. The same cosets can be generated from different elements. Another important point to remember in all cases is that the subgroup itself, in this case it's K, K is a coset. Every subgroup is a coset because in this case if we take 0 plus K or 3 plus K, add all the elements in K, add uh, 3 to all the elements in K or 0 to all the elements in K, you get K back again. It's so the subgroup is a coset of itself, generated by itself, and it's the only coset that's a subgroup. All the other cosets are not because what happens is the cosets partition, the distinct cosets partition the group. And since there's only one identity, that identity can only reside in one set and it happens to be the subgroup you start with. Now in this case, if you're using the abstract algebra package, this calculation can be done. If you load the package, then define g to be z6, which is the, uh, z is the function that generates the group of integers mod any n, and let k be the set or list 0, 3. To find those, the, we can verify first that k is a, indeed a subgroup, and you do need to start with a subgroup to get proper cosets, and the left cosets are generated this way, and you get the, the three rows, uh, um, and the output represent the three cosets of k. So this, you're going to get a partition, and another thing to point out is that the actual sets you get often have some similarity. In this case, the similarity between them is that they all have two elements, and the two elements differ by three. There'll often be some sort of uh, regularity in that way. Let me turn to another example that we can't use the uh, abstract algebra package for, but it does illustrate this geometric similarity I mentioned. So the second example is a subgroup of R2, the, uh, the, the real numbers, the direct product of the real numbers with itself. And here we're going to take the set of all pairs x2x 
and it's fairly easy to verify that that's a um, subgroup. The set of all points that lie on the line y equals 2x, in fact, is what this set represents. And if you apply the uh, conditions for a subset being a subgroup, you'll find that H is indeed a subgroup. Let's look at a coset. So I'm going to take a, a typical element of, of R2, something that's not an H to start with, and we'll pick 4, 1. And if we add that to H, that is the set of all pairs for 1 plus the pair x to x, where x is a real number. Okay. So I'll format that. So that's that's the definition of the coset for 1 plus h. If we look closely at the the elements without using set notation for every one of the lines, we have 4, 1 plus the pair x, 2x, and that's, if we add those, the pair x plus, a, plus 4, 2x plus 1. Now what's that set look like? Well, one way to look at it is to make a substitution, let z equal 4 plus x, or x plus 4, and therefore 2x plus 1 is 2 times uh, z minus 4 plus 1 and that's equal to 2z minus 7. So another alternate way of writing this is pairs of the form z, 2z, minus 7. Or in other words, the line y equals 2z minus 7, and of course z is just a placeholder. We could use, we could still describe it as the line y equals 2x minus 7 all the points on that line. Notice that that's a line that's parallel to the line I described by h. h was the, the, all the points on the line y equals 2x. So those two lines don't intersect, they're parallel. And every coset of h will have that similarity that it will be a line parallel to h, so we'll have slope 2, and the varying intercepts will determine the actual line. Finally, if you do take a point or an ordered pair point in H itself, and you add it to uh, H, you do get H again, uh, which again illustrates the fact that H is its own coset, is a coset generated by itself, and it's the only one of the cosets that's a subgroup. Okay, so these are two examples of cosets. Again, the, the important thing is to notice that the set, the, the group itself, is partitioned into cosets of a given subgroup. The, these are both abelian cases. The non-abelian case is a little bit more complicated. Uh, here we used left cosets. Things were added on the left. It didn't matter because the group was abelian. We'll see later on that uh, there's a distinction between left and right in non-abelian groups. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye.